Hello everyone, I am Rosanne Hani. And I am Malak Walid. We are from Abur STEM School. Now we will explain the experiment number one. Uh, we will put large surface area of the block on the plane. And now I will incline the plane to measure the angle co coefficient of friction. You can see that the angle here is about 11. So the angle of limiting friction, which is mu s equal 10, the angle of repose equal 10, uh, equal 10, 11. Uh, I think which is 0 0.9. In the experiment number two, we will use the block and we will, will put it on the plane. We will connect the string with the block and on the other end with the hunger. We will put the string above the pulley. Here we have uh, weights of in, the, in this box, and here we have the hanger. Now, in here, we're trying to put a weight on the hanger to make the block about to move. So now we are putting 250 grams on the mass of the block. Here we have 50 grams, 10. We can choose another five. Now the block is about to move. Okay, we can add another five until the block is about to move. Here we see the block is moving very slowly. We now calculate here the weight that makes the block about to move. Here we have 50 and 10, 70. Don't forget the weight of the hanger that is five grams. We can find the mu s by uh, dividing the total weight over the 250 grams plus the mass of the block. The second trial, we will add another 250 grams on the block. Here also, we are trying the same thing as the first trial. We're trying here to put a weight that makes the block about to move. So, 100. We can use 10 grams. We can add another 5 grams. Here we see the block also is moving very slowly. Uh, we can find the, the second new S by dividing the force over the weight of the block plus the 500 grams that we put on the block. So the total weight here is 50 grams plus 50 grams plus 10 grams plus 5 grams. And actually, also don't forget the hanger, uh, the weight of the hanger, that is 5 grams. So the total weight is 120 grams. We'll make another third trial by putting another 250 grams on the block. Here also we're trying to find the correct force that makes the body or the block about to move. We have here another 50 grams. We can put 40 grams. Actually, you can try different weights uh, until the block is about to move. As you see here, the block also is about to move as the first and the second trial. We're going to calculate the force. So the total weight is 50 grams plus 50 grams plus 20 grams plus 20 grams also plus 5 grams. And yes, and the hanger is 5 grams. So by calculating the mu s equal the force used to move the block over the weight of the block uh, plus the grams that on the block. At the end of the experiment, we find that every time we measure the uh, friction, the mu s, it is equal uh, the previous time. We'll explain the results of the experiment. In trial one, 
the applied force is 70 and in trial 2 the applied force is 115 and so on the normal force are listed are listed in the this column here and the mu s which is equal applied force over normal force for example in a trial 1 mu s equals 0 0.18 in a trial 2 is still 0 0.18 and so on tan theta or mu s uh, so tan 11 11 here is the angle of repose so we make tan angle of repose which is tan 11 equals 0 0.19 so we have shown here the mu average which is equal 0 0.175 we get the mu average from sum of mu s over 6 uh, equal 0 0.175 uh, and the mass of the block here is 128.73 gram so the error percentage equal 0 0.19 minus 0 0.17 0 0.175 over 0 0.19 times 100 equal 7.9 percent and thanks for your listening.